Let's go, fro. Ah, dig in, boy. When I talked to the uh, the folks at the training facility where he was, where there was about 50 guys, they said they just referred to him as the CEO. He is a leader. And the best. Good start. Good start. Run, boy. Run, boy. Woo! Let's go, boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, Jimmy, I like that. I like that from you, Jimmy. Yes, sir. We up now, next up. Came about that bottom, earned my stripes, became a stepper. Had to raise the bar, now the bar exceeds your effort. I ain't come up with a silver spoon, had to show my hand young. Graduated college, everything else is an and one. Never going back. I got a, I got a special, special guest on the platform tonight. It's we up now, Frozone, aka Mikey Sanders still. We got a some questions for him tonight some some questions that the the community have been dying to ask him but i'm i'm excited to have this conversation tonight so mikey how you living man how you doing i'm doing great man you know i feel good i'm in great spirits going into you know the rest of this month the month of march um and then of course you know next month is a draft so i think i'm in a great head space right now um, and after the last, after last week, you know, it was a long week. Physically, I'm doing good as well. I finally got a few days to just rest. Tomorrow, I'm back at it in the, you know, in the lab and working, weight room, and then field work. Well, let's let's talk about that process. Um, the last time we really had an opportunity to tap in with you uh, was before the mm -hmm. national championship. Uh, so give us an update on life and how everything has transpired since the national championship. I would say things have moved fast since the Natty. Um, you know, after that, I guess, week after the national championship, I came to Texas and I got straight into it, straight into training the day I got here. Um, you know, I had dinner that night with my agent the following morning. I was at the facility doing my body scan and, um, you know, training with the, the guys. So really, I guess I, I said I haven't had downtime, which I'm not, you know, I'm not mad about because, you know, it's it's a process and, you know, you have to go through a process to get somewhere. And I've enjoyed each step of this process. You know, you got to enjoy what it is that you're doing or else, you know, you're not going to, you know, come out on the other side of it feeling how you want to. So if you don't enjoy the process, enjoy the grind. You know, you're not going to get the results you want. So with that being said, man, it's just this process has been fun. It's been tough. Some days are harder than others, but it's all a part of it. And I've been, I've trust, I believe in the process. I trust what God's doing in my life right now. You know, I'm, it's his, it's his vehicle that he's driving. Um, and, you know, I trust where he's taking me. So I've enjoyed everything that's happening right now. And then, you know, with wifey, she's doing really good. Uh, we're in the second trimester. Follow her Instagram. Um, you know, keep up with her content that she's posting. I think she has <clears throat> a great um, approach to, you know, posting content. But, uh, yeah, we're doing really good. We're excited. Baby shower in a month as well. So, you know, things are going how to post it right now. And, you know, I can't complain. I feel great. Shout out to her. She, she posted some content today. Shout out to all the content creators out there. Yes, sir. So, the, the most recent most recent phase in your process uh, was the NFL Combine. We got a chance to come together as a community and watch you on the Combine. It was a surreal experience seeing you out there. Talk to us about your overall experience with the NFL Combine. Um, it's a good experience. You know, I dreamed of doing it as a kid, being a part of the Combine, so to, to see, you know, that actually come to light, you know, by God's grace, it was able to happen. Uh, and I feel like, you know, God's prepared me to be, you know, in the, in the in the situation I was my whole entire life. The moment I picked up a football, everything I've been through from a football aspect, you know, I've been prepared for when it comes to, you know, drills and testing. And then as far as interviewing and, you know, being in a space where I have to talk to people, um, he's preparing me to do that as well. You know, I've been doing that my whole entire life, talking to people. Um, he's blessed me with the ability to be well-spoken, uh, to be very mindful, very thoughtful. So, you know, when it came to interviewing, that was that was easy for me. 
Um, and then, of course, you know, he gave me intelligence and smart. So I was doing board work and stuff. I didn't really come across no problems in, you know, that aspect of, you know, the combine either. Um, you know, the, the toughest thing I would say was just having to wake up real early and then go to sleep real late. Um, you know, the way they stretched out the schedule, they kind of did it in a way where they didn't want you to perform at your best. Just because you know, the worse you perform, the less they pay you. So I get it. I get it from a business as a business standpoint. But, you know, the real ones, the great ones, they perform in those pressure situations. So for me, it wasn't nothing. Um, and, you know, like I said, I was just, you know, prepared for it through this process. And Exos did a great job with myself, but with a, another, like a group of a bunch of guys in all three locations, uh, Texas, Pensacola, and Arizona. Like the way they prepared us for drills, uh, you know, you see it. Like we got the the current record holder is an Exos athlete. Mm. And you know, everybody, I said it in you know in our prior interviews, like I knew we was gonna do good at this combine just because of the, like how everybody was feeling, how everybody was vibing through the training cycle. Like they did what they had to do with us, and you know we were able to prove how good of a facility they are, how great of coaches those people are, uh, and just everything they did for us. Shout out to Exos! I, I got a chance to travel to Texas and see it in person um we were able to shoot some content um but what i was able to see uh was i mean those guys and women for that matter they're they're ahead of their time in regards to the technology the attention to detail the way they uh manage each athlete as an individual it was it was definitely a, a great experience so shout out shout out to exos now Let's take a look at the numbers. You ran a 4.47, a 10.11 broad jump, 40 inch vertical. You had 14 reps on a 2.25 drill. So how do you feel about your combine numbers? I love my numbers. I ain't gonna lie. I love my numbers. Uh, I think I could have, I think I had a little more of me on the, uh, on the bench reps. I hit the rack, uh, I think on two different reps, I hit the rack. And, you know, anybody who benches know you hit that rack, is over. It <laughs> don't matter how strong you are. You hit that rack, that's a lot of energy that's, you know, coming out of you. Like, yeah. it's hard to <laughs> hit that rack. Uh, my broad jump, I might have could have gotten an 11. But, you know, 10, 11 at my size, 14 reps at my size, uh, you know, that's that's beyond expectation. And then my 40, I definitely think I could have ran a lower 40, but I came in, my baseline test was a four four six five. So to go from a four six five to a four four seven at the end of the day, that speaks for itself. So I think I can run with anybody in any situation. And if you're a real football player, if you're a real athlete, uh, we know straight line speed and game speed is two different things. So, you know, I play very fast and I think that's part of, you know, what makes me who I am is my ability to play fast and part of playing fast is how well you know the game plan, how well you know your opponent. Um, so, you know, those things that are part of, you know, my toolbox help me play as fast as I do. But um, I'm glad. I'm very happy with the numbers I was able to, you know, put out. Um, and I definitely think I, you know, exceeded a lot of expectations going into the, the combine weekend. Love that. Love that. I'm glad that you feel the exact same way that, that we do as a community because we were pleasantly surprised to see you run that fast, jump that high, and perform so well during the combine. So I formally want to congratulate you for, for being one of the top performers at the NFL combine. I appreciate that. Absolutely. Now, as a community, since joining We Have Now Gaming, we've seen you grow tremendously over the past 12, 13 months. And anybody that's been following your story for longer than that, uh, they've seen a number of different uh, levels to, to Mikey Samra still. Uh, talk to us a little bit about that point in your life where you felt like it was no going backwards and the only direction was up. Um, I think I've known that since a little kid, if you want the truth. Like, I've just always been... Uh, you know, mature beyond my age, you know, like I just, I've always been an advanced kid. Um, and for me, I guess you could say, you know, it's 
this game of football. Um, for me, it's my way out. It's the vehicle that I'm going to continue driving to open up different opportunities and you know drive down different lanes of this life. Uh, and I'm going to use this game of football as much as I can because I know the wonders that it could do for me. And by God's grace, it's allowed me to shake hands I never thought I could shake and have conversations I never thought I could be a part of. Um, it's put me in rooms that, you know, the average person, um, you know, just wouldn't be in. And lastly, it's game of football has given me a job that the average human being is, you know, you just don't get this job. And when I say job, I'm talking about joining an organization. Like these are billion dollar organizations that we're talking about, we're talking about NFL teams. And, you know, the mindset I had was, I'm not joining a team. I'm, you know, being a part of a, I'm going to be a part of a business organization or business corporation. And so like when I'm in these interviews with these teams, it's not, you know, might get a football player. No, I'm going in as a businessman and I'm showing you, I'm telling you as much as I know about my job and my job being my playbook. Um, and then I'm letting you see how responsible I am and telling you the things I do from an off-field standpoint, my interests, um, you know, how responsible I am, um, you know, the type of lifestyle I live and, you know, you know, what I associate myself with. So it's like from, you know, if I'm a GM or whatever, I'm looking at Mikey Sarah still like, okay, he's a guy who takes care of his family. He takes care of his team. And, you know, if he does those two things, I know he ha he has to take care of himself. So why wouldn't I want Mikey Sarah still a part of my organization? Anytime. Your goals become the new standard. The only direct seller is a yeah. We up now, baby. Now we've also seen you win at every level. We we saw you win at the high school level where you won a state championship. Um, recently, we saw you win a national championship with the Michigan Wolverines. Um, and if you look at your story, uh, there's so many moments in your life uh, from transitioning from a uh, wide receiver to a defensive back to having some of the games that you had last year. So you've you've found a lot of success, consistently found a lot of success. What are your top three keys to finding consistent success? Um, I feel like everybody can have a different top three. You know, I'll say my top three is that's crazy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say my top consistency is in my top three. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um. Which I mean, it technically applies to the question. Yeah, so so I would say accountability. Um, you have to hold yourself accountable. You have to hold the people around you accountable, um, because you know if you, I, I would say standard and accountability, I kind of intertwined a little bit, but they could be two different, you know, um, two different keys. But standard and accountability, you know, you have to hold yourself accountable to that standard hold your peers accountable to that standard um you know you can't you can't as a leader you can't expect people to do what you tell them to if they don't see you doing that same thing mm -hmm. um and i think you know that's been one of the keys to success i've had as a leader you know actions first and then you know follow the actions up with the words because what you do speak so loudly i can't hear what you say mm -hmm. um you know that's a that's a quote i got from my strength coach coach herb um you know, coming in as a young guy, that's what he'll tell us. And, you know, I've, I live by that every single day at Michigan. And I think part of that is what allowed me to become a leader and a captain at the university. And, you know, captains are chosen by teammates at our school. So that's one I would say. I don't know, would you count that as one or two standard and accountability? We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna count that as one just because I want to con continue to hear you spit these bars. Um, all right, boom. The next one is uh, I, I'll save I'll save that one for last. Uh, but it's it's first, but I'll save it for last. Okay. Uh, 
My second one would have to be. I got standard accountability. My second one would be process because, you know, to be successful, you have to go through a process. Mm. We went through a process at our school. We was like, in my 2019 season, we were a good team. We went nine and three, I want to say. Like, that's, that's a that's a good, you know, that's a good record for a college program, but that's not the standard of Michigan football. You get what I'm saying? Mm. So, like, we're such a historically well-run program. Um, they wanted to see us win a uh, Big Ten championship. From winning the Big Ten championship, they wanted to see us win a bowl game under Coach Harbaugh. And that bowl game, national championship. So the process that we went through was 2020, we went 2-4. and four. That's unheard of at the University of Michigan. You know what I'm saying? Like 2-4. Mm-hmm. and four, um, That's a that's a, a ship sinking. Like hurry up, jump off ship. You know what I'm saying? But now nah, we want, we, a lot of us stuck it out. We said, no, we want to be the ones that turn this program around. Um, and we had success the following season. Um, you know, we took it from being two and four. We went, where we go? We went uh, 10 to two the following year. And we made the playoffs. We won the Big Ten Championship. We lost in the playoffs to Georgia. The next year, we went 11 and one. You know, we lost to TCU in the playoffs. So two years in a row, we made the playoffs. Um, and, you know, to us, that's all part of our process. We, the first year we got there, we beat Ohio State. We thought that was all we needed to do. Uh, we were happy. We were content with what we did. All right. The following year, all right, it's more of a business trip. We're going to go to the playoffs. We're going to handle business. Now, we weren't prepared for the playoff game. We, you know, we threw two interceptions that were returned for um, touchdowns. And then, well, our defense gave up, I think, 30, 30 plus points, the most points we've given up all year. Like, you know, they threw for 200 plus passing yards. We weren't as prepared as we were supposed to be. Um, and so this past season, it was we have the talent, we have the players, we have the coaching. What's the next step of our process that we have to take to get to where we want to be? It was falling back to our small details. Mm-hmm. Small details, as simple as, you know, making sure your shoes are placed the right way. Every day in the weight room, if your shoes weren't placed down like this, and I'm not flexing right now, so don't, don't look at the, <laughs> the thighs. Like, look, if your shoes weren't placed down like this, you were held accountable for it. You know, there was repercussions for it. The shoes had to fit a certain way. And part of that was understanding <clears throat> if our standard is this for football, your standard has to be this outside of football as well. So that's in the locker room, that's the classroom, that's the film room. That's every single day you wake up, make your bed. Like it was everything, like all in, all money in on every level, every phase that it could be. Um, so yeah, process. And you know, I think a lot of people probably heard me say this by now. You have to go through something to grow to grow through something. So 2020, we went through the worst season we've ever had at Michigan. We went through that. We went through two playoff losses. So we grew from those, you know, those three seasons alone, we grew. And this past season, we did what we had to do. We handled our business. We won a natty. So, yeah, my second one would be process. And then my last and final one, but the most important one is faith. Um, trust in God. He already has his plan. He already, you know, your blessings are your blessings for you already. You just have to, you know, you just have to go and get your blessings. Go receive your blessings. Um, that's wake up. That's pray. That's go to sleep. Pray. And that's pray when things are going good, pray when things are going bad. Um, you know, you always, you know, thank God first, ask second. And so, you know, I'm just very thankful, very blessed. Um, and I know God's going to continue dropping blessings on me, dropping blessings on the people around me. And, of course, blessing the people that you know are looking to harm me because there's people out here who don't want to see you succeed. And, you know, God's working miracles for them as well. So. Just, you know, I'm very thankful for what God has done in my life and life of people around me. Now, being being a brother of mine, one of the one of the words that Mommy Milk Bar has used uh in regards to Mikey Sanders still is the word obedient. And I and I love that because it's a it's a testimony testimony to your success, uh, but also a lesson that all of the members in the community members in We Up Now Gaming can use. And that's as being obedient, so I, I love that 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 last one, faith, because we all need that to to get to where we want in life. Yeah. 
Yeah, yes. Absolutely. So you're going to be a, a father. And you know, in this community, what that means is you're going to be a dad gamer. So talk to yeah. us about that feeling. How does it feel to, to, to be a dad gamer, to eventually be a dad gamer? The vision I have is when it's baby on my lap, baby next to me in a high chair. <laughs> I'm on the Call of Duty feeding the baby while the tour. Like that's that's what I see right now. <laughs> and then I don't know how much when she gets older if I'm the if I'm a push video games on her, you know, she'll see me playing games, but um yeah, that's for right now the vision I have is I'm on the game, of course. Um she's in her high chair. And she's watching dad play video games. <laughs> Listen, just, just and mommy mill boy, I know this to be true. Um, you know, especially when they're young and you know, uh being a football player, you can definitely uh you've experienced holding the football. So they they, they kinda fit right there in the right there like you holding the football. So it's kinda easy to easy to, to manage playing the game yeah. and, and holding them at the same time so from dad to dad I, i'll show you a, a few different techniques to to make sure you're good and you can still drop your 20 bombs <laughs> <laughs> so what's what's next for for mikey samuel still so pro day baby shower draft and then there's things in between like each event but um so pro day is march 22nd that's at you know michigan schenbecker hall Ann Arbor, home of the Natty Champs. Uh, that's what's next. I'm here training for another week in, uh, in Dallas. And then I'm going back to Michigan. I'll be training up there for up until pro day. Um, and then, you know, while I'm home, I still, I gotta, I gotta start packing, be ready to be out of my house by April, end of April, mid April. Uh, so yeah, so get, get to Michigan, start packing, training, get ready, getting ready for pro day. Um, after pro day, going on a vacation with wifey for a week before our baby shower, and then we're having our baby shower back home in, uh, in Boston. After the baby shower, is getting ready for that draft. So those are the, the next three big things on my on my agenda. So you finally get get a chance to to take a vacation from national championship to training for the nfl combine to participate in the nfl combine to pro day to baby shower to the nfl draft you finally get a chance to to go on vacation <laughs> love that yeah, little, little pit stop. Little little pit stop. i love i love that for you i love that for you so mikey we certainly appreciate uh just being a part of your journey uh it's been fun to say the least and we we expect um we expect that uh, you know that your story will continue to be one of one of many blessings and we're we're paying attention we're front row paying attention so we appreciate you we appreciate tonight's conversation we'll continue to get updates from you uh, as you go on this journey shout out shout out to king arthur shout out to mommy milk bar shout out to bc everybody that pulled up uh, to tonight's conversation so uh, what's next i think we're getting into some some call of duty do it all right let's get it man so before that let's get into some of that mikey sam still content that we have now gaming has collaborated with him on uh, throughout the course of this season <laughs> This time, I'm not just waking up, though. I've been up before my alarm went off. You know why? <clears throat> it's game day. It's game day. Natty day. You don't get bigger or better than this. <sighs> Let's do it. It's the last one. That's so crazy. Like, I feel like I just got here yesterday. <sighs> Sheesh. It's gonna be a big night. I'm getting me one tonight. I promise. I gotta get one tonight. I need to. <laughs> Ooh, if I catch a pick in the natty, bro. <sighs> a pick in the natty. Penix looks the other direction down the scene. It's intercepted by Samer still. 
Mikey Sandra still has a couple of blockers. A convoy. Mikey Sandra still. Friendly Guardian is Zippy on the inside. Friendly Guardian inbound. Gas is moving. Oh, we do a nice family. Good. Go get Easy. I got him back. Go. That's perfect timing. Hit him with that throwing knife for you. Perfect timing. Come right here. Come right here. Come right back. Behind you. There you go. My dog. Right there where I said that, uh, ass strike. Hey, where did he... He picked up my gun? He might have. Right under me, right under me. No, 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 I picked up your gun. The 762? Oh, you good, you good. You good, bro. Go ahead. And uh, the HRM? Yup, you good, you good. Hey, down there somewhere. They're above me. Oh, Our Guardian is active. Sure. Oh. Two of them, two of them. Down. Down to you, soldier. Stay safe. Kill confirmed, and we located the rest of them. Oh, did he selfie? I think so. Are you there? Yup. Rogue signal broadcast detected. Encrypted signal confirmed. Decrypt the enemy signal appreciate that, appreciate by leading that. an enemy kill. Yui. Drop bread, I'll get it. Alright, here it is. Drop. Enemies dropping into the AO. Requesting Glee Fox fly outbound. Alright, I can't see nothing, but it looked like they're behind us. Yep. Oh, he's hiding in the corner on the stairs. On me, hiding in the corner. Yep. Pick me up, pick me up. Oh, GG's. Enemies are GG's. dropping. I got one down on them steps in front of you. I got him. I get him. Transmitting coordinates to a valuable weapon crate Boy, now. Boy, you're shooting at me without the hug. Uh, oh no, the cluster got me. I'm good. Got gas moving in. Still one here, yo. Yeah. Still one here, oh. still one here, still one here. Bro got him. It might have been him. Land him too. Still here. Move to the safe zone. Still here in footstep. We've got 10 squads active in the field. Oh, is that y'all footstep? I don't think they're below us. Nah, they're here. They, they gotta be below us, bro. Enemy soldier incoming. Only 25 remain. Yeah, they below. He was oh, trying yeah, to go down. Hey, they coming out. They gotta. They gotta come out of top. Yeah. 
Nah, they're up, they're up top. They're up top now. See y'all right. Friendly airstrike in the AO. Frog smoke! They're right in this area. You got reinforcements inbound. Yeah, I'm here. Drop it into the AO. They're on top. Top. Fire sale active. Buy station prices have been reduced. All the way at the top. Oh, lighthouse, lighthouse. Enemy guardian spotted. Resurgence is about to end. Make it count. You got, who got a cluster? I don't. I don't think that's the fight. Alright, come back. Got him. I got people above me. Yep, you right. <laughs> the lead is yours. Are they not there no more? No, no, no. Them boys gone. I bet. Look. Call. Somebody looking at me from behind. Somebody looking at me from behind. I got money for you. Where did they go from? Sure, probably down low. Get a UEA. You're losing ground. Move it. Yeah, I think they're. Yeah. Uh, the whole team over there. Everybody here. Everybody here. I down one. Alright, we fighting gas now, bro. We got one take back, right? Team just killed A. Let's see if we can get him back. How many? There were three. They picked them up. Oh, he just got you back. We should. We, we, we still we still need to rotate right. Um, he they, just killed at the bus station up, up top. Hold on, I'm not behind you. I got one down. Last squad still operational in the area. Ah, you pro, he's hurt. Jeez. Dropping bread. Man, come on, man. Let's get it, man. We up now, next up. Came about that bottom, earned my stripes, became a stepper. Had to raise the bar, now the bar exceeds your effort. I ain't come up with a silver spoon. 